Hey everyone, it's me, and today we are doing another viewer request. This one, once more, is from Kitty Guardian, and I just want to say thank you, Kitty. We are trucking along through your great grand list. You gave us more than anyone, and we are here to accommodate. If you're a patron, you get that first come, first serve sort of approach when it comes to what we watch on this channel and Kitty Guardian let us have it. So, with that, we are doing a sequel to something that we've already done, and, well, you already know what it is because you read the description or you looked at the thumbnail, so let's just get to it. Ah! I'm gonna watch with you just like I always do with all the magic here, we're keeping busy. This show will bring you joy because I'm a massive fanboy. There's just so much to see. Seasons should ch change for me. It's not all creepy. Oh, I only got one, but he's a full <laughs> specimen. Oh. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. <sighs> Boom, bloom. And I'm Queen of the Moors, and I am a human. Philip, what are you doing here? I was looking for you. Five years ago, I thought I lost you forever. I've loved you since the moment I met you, and every day since. Even though you're a different Love actor. The truth here is mine. There is no magic nor curse that could ever tear me away from you, Aurora. Are you sure this is a good time? Oh, Philip. Will you marry me? Yes. 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 A secret surprise wedding! <laughs> of course, we have to tell our parents. Do we? <laughs> Prince Philip has asked Aurora if she'll become his. Don't ruin my morning. Father, mother, where, what did she say? She said yes. Yes! <laughs> that is wonderful news. Oh, two kingdoms united at last. Malikadoo. Godmother, Philip asked me to marry him. My answer was yes. Why don't you like Philip? Well, for one thing, he's human. I'm a human. And I have never held that against <laughs> you until I fell in love. You want me to meet his parents? It's just a difference. Please. The message that's sent with that is her cracking a neck. I just I'm losing my patience, so you need to move faster, Lickspittle. Yes, Your Majesty. Aurora said yes. It's all coming together. Presenting Maleficent. <laughs> Off to a great start, these peeps. Uh, presenting Maleficent. This is my father, King John of Ulstead, and my mother, Queen Ingrid. Welcome to our home. I'm curious, how did Aurora become Queen of the Moors? I made her queen. Her castle is quite stunning, you must see it. Yes, but in fact she has another castle. There are many who prey on the innocent. I'm sure your kind would agree. What do you mean, my kind? She means humans. There are fairies missing from the moors. What I'm missing is some wine. Stolen by human poachers. That's the first I've heard of it. Someone gave the order. Aurora will finally get the love of a real family. A real mother. Tonight, I consider Aurora my own. Stop! Oh, 
What has she done to me? Father! Maleficent has cursed the king! What have you done? Hmm? I've done nothing. Aurora, we go home now. Aurora! Only had a handful of fairy specimens to work with, and the That's her plan is just is painstaking. get rid of these things Extraction. and find and her prince a better princess. Two bloom flowers, they grow from a fairy's grave, contain their very essence. When you mix the pollen with iron powder, the resulting dust ends a fairy's life. We will need thousands more. So the queen has gotten sloppy all of a sudden, so that we can have our characters discover things. What's this? Maleficent, please stop! She figured that out pretty quickly. Maleficent, what have you done? We have to release them. They belong on the moors. As you do, Aurora. A human who has betrayed her kind. My family's kingdom bordered the moors. But one particularly harsh winter, our crops died. Here's her And the people began to motive. suffer. And as we looked over our walls, we could see the fairies. Thriving. My brother and I believed we should take what we needed while my father, the king, sought their kindness. Choosing peace over our people, he sent my brother to do his bidding. He never came back. So weird and skewed, this viewpoint. Those savages, creatures who could barely grunt, let alone engage in talks, killed him. I don't believe that. Our people became fearful. They overthrew my father the land fell into chaos i was cast out forced by fate into marriage with king john of alstead another weak king speaking of tolerance and civility and now my own son corrupted with visions of harmony but peace will not be our downfall Start the music. Craziest thing is like most of the Moors is right here. And they're the peaceful ones. And yet they're the ones who are clearly in danger. Him too. The prince is not 
healing. Ah, of course. See him to his chambers. We have to do something. No. Weird-looking bear. not my fight. My mother wanted a war, and you're giving it to her. I won't allow her hatred to ruin my kingdom, or yours. There'll be no fey blood on my hands. She needed to see that. There's the evil that I promised them. Stop! I'm sorry I doubted you, but this isn't you. There's another way. I know who you are. You open my mouth. No! <laughs> Shove her off the edge. Shove her off the edge. Run into her and push her off. There's a big open <laughs> slot there for you to kick her off the edge. Alstead is free at last. <gasps> Wow. The queen, I have to give props. Her plan was very thought out. Hello, beastie. I believe this belongs to you. All right, nice. This is like treason, treason or whatever. Like they shouldn't just turn on the queen this easily, no matter what the circumstances. Philip, take Aurora. I do. Agreement. Hope that's not like a romantic thing. And do you, Aurora, be take? Weird. Then I pronounce you husband and wife. You're smiling. Alrighty, so that was Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Thanks once again, as always, to Kitty Guardian for everything that you have given us con contribution-wise. Just letting you guys know, there's many ways that we could have done this Dude Does Disney show, and I was adamant that we did it in this way, where you get the entire movie all in one go. We easily could have broken this into pieces, and the only reason if you ever see us do that on other shows or any other reason, it's because our hosts are limited on their schedules. And so if you see that happen where we break it up, it's because we wanted to make sure you guys had more content from that specific show or whatever. It has nothing to do with us trying to manipulate you or to get you to pay more or anything like that. It is merely, we know you like seeing us, we wanna keep you happy. So that is the only reason we break stuff up. This show will never be broken up. You will always get the full movie all the way through. I promise you, okay? So just just letting you all know that we are here for you. And we care about your opinions and your thoughts. There have been some comments giving some impression because someone is always looking for something to vilify us in some way. None of that malicious content is happening or, you know, none, none of that is happening. We are not here to take advantage. We are only here to give you joy every week, any way possible that we can. And we know some of you are more interested in certain things than others. And so we want to make sure that you guys get that from us. Our network is 
mostly, if not entirely, all for giving the most diversity for all of you viewers that we possibly can. I am literally the guy who is in charge. So you're talking to the guy who, yes, I'm the dude for Dude Does Disney, but I'm also the face in many ways of the whole network. So if something's wrong, I'm sorry, but I promise you, I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, am here for the fans. I'm a fan, I'm not trying to take advantage of anyone. I put this out there because I, I really wanna make sure that that is very clear. So we're here for you. We of course wanna keep you happy. We of course, at the same time, are growing a business and we have to pay our host, which is where you know the money needs to come in and we have to pay our editors because it's the only way. If I could edit everything myself and I used to do that, I don't do that so much anymore because I just don't have time because I'm busy filming show after show after show and it's just how it is. It's just the nature of the beast. I do not personally pay myself. I put all my money into this channel and that is the way it should be until there's a point where I can do so. I thankfully am in a position where I don't need to pay myself until a point comes where it seems necessary. So wanted to put all that information out there because a lot of people have a misconception of what exactly this channel is, what this network is, and all of that. And I know this has nothing to do with Maleficent, but I really want this to be stressed. I work for free because I'm trying to grow this network. And I, and I do all of that because I want to give something that I would want to watch. So you guys are giving you guys are giving us feedback and I really appreciate that. And we're giving everything we can to that feedback. Point is, we care, okay? We really care, quite a lot actually. If I ever seem distracted, it's because I am juggling a lot, but I do pay attention to your comments and I do really genuinely care. And if I don't get to something, I do eventually get to it. So just letting you know, there is no part of me it's trying to take advantage of anyone. I am merely trying to do the whole point of this channel is to grow, become something, to give people what they're looking for that I would be looking for, and to genuinely like be honest about it. So I'm, I have nothing to hide. You have a question for me, ask away. Yeah, I know this is silly to put this all out there, but it's really important to me. So it's on my mind and I want you to know I care and I'm sorry I'm not talking about this movie. The movie's awesome, it's beautiful, it's great. Everyone in this movie was very well delivered and what a in incredible performance from everyone. Angelina Jolie, holy crap, some really great lines and just the way she <laughs> delivers them was glorious. She is definitely a phenomenal actress and she needs to be in every movie because she really is that great. Thank you once again, Kitty Guardian, as I always mention, and yeah. I have nothing else to say except you've heard everything I feel and I'm here for you guys. And, you know, originally our slogan was for fans, by fans. And then it was, you know, United We Fan. And now we're beyond fandom. And that's because we're trying to go beyond fandom. So anyway, thank you guys once again for watching this episode of Dude Does Disney. And until next week when this dude does it again. Oh, 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 oh,